for this project, you will need some leaves. Try and get different shapes, colors, crayons, piece of paper, pencil or pen, a cup of leftover coffee or black tea, and a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, ask a grown-up to cut a piece of sponge for you and you can use that to apply your paint. So we're going to do a piece of artwork where we do different layers of leaves. So our first layer will involve observing our leaf, which means that we're going to look at them and study them. And then with a pencil or a pen, just going to draw a line drawing, an outline of your leaf. You can look at the details that your leaf might have, like the stem or different veins. You can draw the front of your leaf. You could draw the back of your leaf. You could even try tracing your leaf. That one looks like a pair of lips. Um, I would like you to draw a total of six or more leaves. So there's my six leaf outlines. And now we are going to do our second layer. And for this, you will need crayons. And we are going to make a rubbing out of our leaf. So to do that, you put your leaf under your paper and it's okay if it's going to overlap some of our drawings we want to be making overlapping layers and then like a windshield wiper so not down but over and across start to rub or color with your crayon and look what happens we see the leaf underneath your paper. I'm going to pick colors that remind me of autumn. So in autumn, we see the leaves changing colors and that's one of my favorite times of year. But you can pick whatever colors you want. So you kind of have to feel where you put the leaf or remember. And then So I would like you to do, how many of these should we do? Let's do between six and 10. If you really, really like doing it, you can do up to 10. For our last layer, you are going to take a cup of leftover coffee or black tea, or if you have watercolors, you can do watercolors. And we're going to paint. You can use a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can um, ask a grown up to cut a piece of sponge for you, and you can use the sponge like a paintbrush. And so now we're going to paint leaves. You want to put them on branches you can. And when you paint with something watery, over the crayon, you should see some of the water fall away. 
where the wax from the crayon is. Do a branch here. And the leaves on a branch. If you want to paint in some of the leaves that you drew with pencil, you can. You can outline some of your crayon leaves. You can paint over them. Anywhere you want to add that final layer. When you're done, you'll need to let that dry. So if you can find a spot, since you probably don't have a drying rack at home, where you can let this dry and you will have your finished autumn leaf painting.